very, very low-key Christmas references. And then some huge Christmas baubles at either end of Queen Street. The Christmas baubles on the square look like they're melting. Yesterday we watched two Christmas movies, but today it's like 20 something degrees. Christmas decorations in our Airbnb aren't all that inspiring, if I'm honest. You got this little Christmas tree. Oh, it's my face. That's what two pound advent calendar gets you. In order to lift my Christmas spirits today, I'm gonna to go down to Auckland's main street, that's Queen Street. It goes right through the middle of the CBD and we're gonna see what is making Auckland city centre Christmassy. made it down onto Queen Street. Queen Street's a three kilometre thoroughfare that goes straight through the middle of Auckland CBD. Today we're gonna to see how much Christmassy stuff we can see. It's hot, it's not Christmassy at all. We've got our first Christmas tree sighting. Right there. Other than that, so far, you would not know it was Christmas if you were walking down here. Okay, we're probably like a third of the way down now. Still no sign of Christmas. The Christmas theme is starting to hit. We've got these banners on the street lights. Uh, every single street light's got one actually. Low key Christmas. Got like palm trees, sunshine, and red and green bauble banners. So we've got the town hall here as well. The town hall has got a lot of. Christmas related stuff in its uh, program to be fair. I'm pretty sure I can hear Live Aid in the background. So we made it down to Otea Square. You can probably hear now the Christmas music coming out of the speakers. And we've got these uh, rotating Lego Christmas balls in the middle of the square. A random giant screen with a camera of what's behind it on. Very nice Christmas tree outside the hotel centre. That's a bit more Christmas, isn't it? Best believe I was just on TV. I'm not too sure on the relevance of the Christmas chicken. Who even does that? Yeah. Quite cynical people stood around it saying it's not very Christmassy. I mean, they're giant spinning baubles covered in Christmas decorations and... What more do you want? Come on. Right, we're going to keep on down Queen Street, see if we can find anything else a little bit more Christmassy. We've kind of made it down to the next level on Queen Street now. This is where a lot of the shops and stuff start. Of course, the library's got a nice Christmas tree. So this shop... Is called Smith and Corley, Corley's, 
Paul Heath. They have these awesome Christmas window displays. All the puppet strings. You can see all the puppet strings moving up the top. They've also got the Christmas music playing outside. Fairy lights. It's got a little story as well. Very cool, aren't they? All the puppet strings moving up the top. It's like a good 10 windows I'd say, all with like puppet strings at the top and you can see them moving, the puppets. And there's a little story along the bottom and you can see parents kind of going along reading them to their kids. That's super Christmassy. I really like that. Some uh, weird shaped lights in the trees. I think they're meant to be Christmassy. I can't really tell. It's like 23 degrees and I'm sweating my <laughs> off. Other than that, it's feeling a little bit more Christmassy. Not the most Christmassy song. I'm sure she'll pick it up though. Admittedly, a lot of the shops don't even look that Christmassy. Or it's very low key Christmas messages. Yeah, we kind of got a bit further down now and Christmas has disappeared again. That's a Christmas tree. Little Christmas tree. These definitely are Christmas trees. Okay, so they're, they're really sporadic, but we've got some more of the uh, Christmas lights up in the trees here. I mean, that's pretty Christmassy. Only an advert though. We have a pretty big Christmas tree here beside the Deloitte Centre. They're definitely nailing Christmas in here. Big baubles and everything. Fancy the things like the banks and the uh, commercial buildings being more Christmassy than the shops. Yeah. You do get your Starbucks Christmas coffee cups, but uh, to be honest, there's so much better coffee in New Zealand, you'd be a fool to go there. Got some more banners on the side streets as well. Again, not exactly inspiring for Christmas, but... I mean, luxury internet karaoke could be very festive. I'll just change things and give them up. Santa Claus is actually a preacher here. <laughs> Something about Lego always feels Christmassy. It's just a solid Christmas gift theme thing. One little place I think is really Christmassy that isn't really mentioned a lot is Queen's Arcade. This is like beautifully decorated. Lots of little independent shops and stuff in it too, so perfect for your Christmas shopping. Or a haircut, or you get your nails done, or buy a new record. That pretty much brings us out at the bottom of Queen Street now, so we're almost at the waterfront. We've got to squeeze as much Christmas in as possible now down this end. So we're at the Britomart end of Queen Street now. Oh, Who's done that? We've 
got some massive ball balls. They actually light up. There also appears to be a puncture repair kit on top of one of them. I don't feel like uh, some members of the public have looked after these too well. I don't know, I mean they're Christmassy. The last thing we've got outside Britomart train station is this little stage area. I've been down here before and there's been like men's choirs and horn sections and bands playing. So I think for the whole of the month they've got different little activities going on down here. Some giant presents as we walk into the uh, shopping centre. We're going a bit off off Queen Street now, but I just thought I'd show you. Uh, there's a very posh shopping centre. Spent a little bit more money on their Christmas lights, I think. You can write your letter to Santa there well because this is the uh, digital age you can submit your wish list to Santa to win of course you can oh, massive presents again so that's a Christmassy walk down the three kilometer main thoroughfare that is Queen Street in Auckland Central Business District. From here you just come out of the ferry terminal. To be honest there's, there's nothing Christmassy around here. Does it feel Christmassy in Auckland? Not really. Sweat on the back of my neck. The Christmas baubles on the square look like they're melting. Everyone's in shorts and shirts. Christmas songs, references to beaches. To me, Christmas is like snowing and it's cold and there's frost and it's dark early. Christmas is definitely different out here. Be sure to uh, subscribe if you want to follow along. I'm going to be daily vlogging our Christmas as we travel through Bay of Plenty. And then we'll be heading off to Vietnam in the new year. Appreciate you subscribing early on and joining my journey. And I'll uh, catch you in the next one from me and the big red ball. Ball. <laughs>